What up Love Thoughts, Foxy here and today we are out and about because I see a lot of hate and a lot of information, good and bad, coming out on Twitter about fursuit safety. Very specifically, hoodling. I thought I'd take the opportunity while I'm out here at SBFM to do a bit of a video about fursuit safety and the general do's and don'ts, or at least what is and what isn't acceptable. Number one, fursuit vision is absolutely freaking terrible, okay? We can't see down, we can't see sideways. Very important thing here is do not approach from behind. Make sure that you get their attention because they may step back onto you, they may turn very quickly and some sort of have heavy tails or spikes or just swing their arm around and they have no idea you're there. Number two, we do look big and fluffy and huggable even in partial suit but always ask before you hug. You'll see some people not do that because they know each other really well, have a hug. That's already implied because they know each other. Doesn't mean you can do it if you don't know them. Approach, say, hey, um, do you mind if I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Or can I get a photo with you? That's all, all good, just ask. Please ask because if you don't, it can be, end up feeling very uncomfortable and leave a very bad first impression. Number three is a very big one. Fursuiting and costumes are not consent. Whether you're at a pop culture convention, a furry convention, doesn't mean you can go up and just grab anyone in inappropriately because that's bad in society anyway. In public, guys, keep it civil, especially because you have no idea who is beneath the suit. It could be male, female, someone under 18. It could be someone who's 67 and they might have a sore back. Just be very, very careful with anyone. Ask beforehand. They'll tell you what they're okay with. If they do say no, don't take it personally. It's nothing to do with you at all. It's just their own safety. Another very important thing, these fursuits are expensive and fragile. A lot of love and work has gone into these things. And if you damage them, it could be very, very bad. So a lot of fursuits are very easy to break. So be gentle, okay? My nose is squishy, yes. But a lot of people's noses are solid and that will dig right into their face and hurt them as well as the suit. All right guys, so please be gentle. Moving on now, it's uh, interacting with the public. It's a very important safety tip because a lot of fursuiting happens in public, obviously. Do not, under any circumstances, try to sneak up on the public to give them a surprise, a shock, and go, hey, I'm a big fluffy animal, give me a hug. There is no way to know how they'll react. So do not ever sneak up a surprise on anyone. Let them approach you. So you can give them a wave, if they're kind of like, oh no, let them be. They don't want to interact, don't make them. Another thing very important when suiting out in public, everyone, is have a handler. If you're on your own, you are a bit more susceptible, a bit more isolated, and bad things can happen. So have a handler, at least someone who could talk to the public, explain what's going on, and especially give you water and help if you need it. Very important, guys. Look after yourselves first and foremost. And as I said before, I'm gonna hit on it, the poodling thing, which means breaking the magic or showing human skin while you're wearing a fursuit. We build up a whole magical world for people to see. The most important thing is your health. As you see, I am wearing partial, but I'm not showing any human skin at all. But if I need a drink, if I need a, a break, I try and get somewhere a little bit more private and take the head off. If I'm in the middle of a big interaction and I need it, I need it now, I do it now. If I upset a couple kids, that's okay. All the furries that get pissed off, to hell with them. My health and your health is important. So, first suiting can be very, very hot. So please, for the love of God, look after yourself. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Don't ever put yourself before first suiting. It's a hobby after all. It's not who you are. It's not your life. Don't so, give yourself heat stroke and die. So when it comes to first suit safety, watch out for yourself. Watch out for others. And for the love of God, if you have to do something, do it. You don't want to be passed out and have no one know what's going on. Take care of yourself. Yes. Very much so. Thank you very much, Sky. No worries. Go check out Sky's channel at Sky High Studios. Thank you. She does a lot of fursuit making tutorials, so if you're curious, one of those people who comments how do I make a fursuit, she might have a tutorial on her channel. Check it out, link down below guys. Alright fluff butts, stay fluffy, I love your faces, I love your fluff butts, and we'll see you next time. Bye! I'd like to give a massive shout out to every fluff butt you see on this screen. They are my amazing Patreons. If you want to check it out and become one yourself, click on the Patreon link and become a fluff butt today.